Okay, welcome back for just a just a little quickie update uh, because I'm I'm working on this and I thought it'd be nice to share. So this is the system, as ugly as it looks with the wires hanging out everywhere, uh, fully working. I've got power brick, power brick, temperature sensor right there, three float switches, uh, and there's the actual software running all this stuff here which is being controlled by the Raspberry Pi just so you can get an idea of what this is going to be like once the uh, once the build's all done and the build the rest of the build videos are coming so here we've got the this is the dashboard this is what you log into uh, the aquarium controller when it first starts I'm just using a little really really old crappy uh, Android tablet I think this thing cost me 90 bucks five years ago so that's that's how old and junky this pie is, or this uh, tablet is but here we got the temperature sensor if I were to hold this temperature sensor uh, I'll give it some heat from my hand uh, you're gonna see that there the temperature will rise now it only checks it every 30 seconds so as I as I continue to record this video you'll see there'll be a little there'll be a little spike that shows up here and uh, it'll do its thing this is the equipment monitor. Uh, I have all the relays attached here. Red means it's off and green means it's on. Uh, if I scroll down here, I've got my three float switches and these are their states when they're on and off and it tells you what they're controlling and how long it controls it for. Uh, so to get an idea of the relays working with the float switches, uh, my float switches are over here. They're all in a off state. Now if I were to flick these on, they check, the system checks them. Oh, there we go. One turned on. I think one's connected to this light too. Uh, and then the relays that are connected to those float switches should flick on. Oh, did I just not turn the light on there? <laughs> there we go. That's why. Let's see if I can turn that light off. Uh, if I can figure out which one of these, I think it's one of these two. We'll just put those in the off state. There we go. So it's off. And essentially that's like the auto top off. So when it goes down, it's going to tell the auto top off pump to turn on and uh, pump the system with some fresh water from the ATO reservoir. And the nice thing about that, like if you were to buy a store-bought ATO computerized system, uh, it would cost you in Canada 150 to 200 bucks this whole thing costs less than that so right there you're kind of making your money just having a mechanically controlled ATO and then all the other functionality that comes along with this with all the other controlled relays now if I wanted to turn some of these relays off let's just go over to this computer it'll be easier to see if I wanted to turn some of these relays off I could just go to the equipment and uh, so let's see so number eight, this is number eight right there. Let's go over here, uh, mechanical eight, turn it on, you hear the click, and you see now the lights are on there. So this is a, a fully controlled relay, and then what you can do is you can go and you can create timers for these things. So it can do certain things at certain times, and it can control all your relays and all your stuff. So that's the functionality I got right now. This is just your basic base functionality for controller for what you need to just kind of do the uh, the startup stuff. And uh, I just got to do some wire management. I didn't like how the boxes were working, so I just got to, I need to figure out another way. I've got some ideas, so we'll, we'll work that out so it's nice and clean and easy to connect and disconnect. But yeah, that's where we are. All right, later.